Here's problem 15, 2. A body oscillates with simple harmonic motion along the x-axis. Its displacement varies with time according to the equation x equals 5 sine pi t plus pi over 3. The acceleration in meters per second squared of the body at t equal 1 second is approximately... So we have a uh, displacement given by x equal 5 sine pi t plus pi over 3. And uh, that will describe our position as a function of time. Our velocity at any particular time is going to be the derivative of the position with respect to time. So that's going to be the derivative with respect to time of 5 sine pi t plus pi over 3. Well, that's going to be equal to 5 derivative of the sine is the cosine, so I have cosine pi t plus pi over 3. But then, uh, since we're taking the derivative of, of a function, we have to take the derivative of what's inside the function by the chain rule, and that is the derivative of the pi t plus pi over 3. Pi over 3 being a constant, that will leave us with just pi. So this is going to be equal to 5 pi cosine pi t plus pi over 3. That is our velocity for all time. We want the acceleration, which is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time, or in other words, the second derivative of the position with respect to time. And that will be the derivative of 5 pi cosine pi t plus pi over 3. And that's going to be equal to, derivative of the cosine is a negative sine, so this is going to be a negative 5 pi sine pi t plus pi over 3. And again, by the chain rule, we have to take the derivative of what's inside the function, which will give us another pi. So this is equal to a negative 5 pi squared sine pi t plus pi over 3. That is our acceleration for all time. So at the particular time where t is equal to 1 second, we have that the acceleration is equal to a negative 5 pi squared sine of pi times 1 second plus pi over 3. Now when we do the calculation for pi plus pi over 3, we're going to want, um, well that's going to be a number that's in radians, so when we take the sine of that number, we want our calculator to be in radians mode. So we have to make sure we're in radians mode when we do this calculation. So, what is that? We have a negative 5 pi squared, and, and all this is going to be a negative 0.866. So that is equal to 42.74 meters per second squared. So that is the acceleration at that time of t equal 1 second. 42.74 meters per second squared.